There's another thing. There's another thing that's happening, and you probably noticed. I love there was an article in the New York Times. Is the entree headed for extinction? And we've we've seen uh, things like mez, you know, the Middle Eastern mez, and sushi, and dim sum. Have you ever been to a dim sum restaurant where they bring the trays? I love that. In San Francisco, there's a place called Yank Sing. If you ever are there, Ted and I'll drive. You know, we'll get up at four o'clock in the morning to arrive up there in time for lunch at, at Yank Sing and have this dim sum, uh, where they bring all these little dumplings and things like that. It's great. But anyway. Then there were the French restaurants in, in Paris. You would go to the famous French chef and you would have a degustation menu and you would have, they would bring you little tastes of all the different things on the menu. So we were seeing, you know, things forewarning us that this was coming. But then there are now restaurants that are opening some of the very most famous chefs, uh, like Jean Georges in New York. His latest restaurant doesn't have entrees at all. You go in and there's a list of 20 plates and you choose two of those for $28, and they're really the smaller plates. And also, Gordon Ramsay's uh, new restaurant in London has the same kind of a plan. So why is the entree becoming the California condor of the menu? <laughs> there are some uh, interesting answers. One theory is that we are getting so interested in customizing our worlds. You know, with the iPod coming along, uh, the record albums are pretty much disappearing because people like to customize their playlists and they like to use a TiVo to, I love my TiVo. <laughs> I just love my TiVo. So Ted and I have discovered that instead of watching the news at night, if you watch America's Funniest Home Videos, it's much better. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so fun to laugh at ourselves, because when we're laughing at other people, we're just laughing at our own foibles, you know, and we fall asleep every night to that, and thanks to the TiVo. But the TiVo's replaced channel surfing, and entrees are pretty much becoming old world. Um, Mario Batali, very famous Italian chef, says that he thinks it's boring t to eat 17 bites of something and then 17 bites of something else. Uh, and I love what Andrew Freeman, he's a restaurant consultant in San Francisco, was coming up with some answers to why the entree is disappearing. He says people hear about a new ingredient on the Food Network or on a blog somewhere, and they want to taste it without committing to an entire plateful of it. <laughs> he says it, people want to date their food before they marry it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's great, don't you? 